How's it been, those and waifus? What's going on? My name is Hermzar, and welcome to another reaction review of Mushoku Tensei. So, just a real quick announcement if you guys are going to be looking for Demon Slayer, since I have already reacted to the movie, and not only that, I also did a full playthrough, and that was also including Mugen Train. So, I've experienced it like three times already. We're going to hold off on the reaction to the Mugen Train arc for Demon Slayer, especially since I have already experienced it. So, there won't be much of a reaction. I know there's like a few new scenes here and there, but other than that like it's pretty much the same i'm assuming so i even read the manga to that part after that whatever's coming december i haven't seen yet so in that regard uh sundays is just going to be uh dedicated to mushoku tensei now before we hop into this reaction review if you haven't already please subscribe I'm about 70 percent of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed and it would really really mean a lot if you guys subscribed so anyways let's not wait any further let's hop into this episode of mushoku tensei Oh, that's right. He got kidnapped. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I love how he's smiling. Like, it's all good with the happy music. <laughs> but I guess it tastes good. Reassuring security. <laughs> he's just stuck there. And he's fully naked. Oh, those are the beast people. Oh, he <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Being completely naked. Okay, so he can unlock it if he really wanted to. What did they do? Oh my god. Dude, I wonder if fucking Rui Jard's gonna pull up and be so pissed off that they're treating uh, Rudius this way. <laughs> That's what he's thinking about? Getting a new fetish? Dude, I wonder if he got any splinters on his butt, dude. This is a really pretty area, though. It's like a tree city. Look at look at them flexing the artistry of this anime. Look at that. Even though Rudius is like a shitty person, I do feel really bad for him. Those are some nice booba. Oh my god, he's just looking at her for the booba. Damn, how? Dude, it's already been three days. You would have thought that Rui Jert has pulled up already. <laughs> dude, I'd be bored as hell. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Their seniority. Ah, they wouldn't ditch Rudius like that. <laughs> it's just so interesting seeing Rudius naked, bro. Is there a fire? Oh, no. Were they attacked? I love how this guy is just randomly calling this kid boss. This is... <laughs> Damn, he put on his clothes quick. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Rudis is going to do something. Yeah, I, I'd be in a weird spot considering if they falsely imprisoned me. I'd be like, Ugh. but you know what? This is pretty bad. I would save them. But then those are, those are kids, man. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up. <laughs> this guy's like, he a new follower. Ooh, here we go. Let's go, Rudy. Isn't last time he did that some strange shit happened? Nice, he put out the fire. Now Rudy's can fuck all of them up. <laughs> I love this guy, dude. Okay, so the fires block out their smell. So they fight better uh, when there's no fires. <laughs> Whenever someone's it opening light is, oi, oi. You know, there's some fucking bullshit. If that does not prove his innocence. Oh, God. Man, this guy is fucking etchy as hell. Oh, this guy's really good at combat. Oh, shit, man got sliced. Yo, the animation is godlike. Oh, my God. North God style. Is that similar to his dad's? Nah, he ain't scared of shit. Oh, this is fucked, dude. Oh, this is fucked. Do something, Rudy. Oh, my God. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, thank you, Rudius. Thank you. Thank you. I hate that he wouldn't he wasn't gonna do anything until that moment that he got that opportunity. Then again, that was probably just very lucky. There we go. Use that eye, my boy. I wonder if he's planning all of this. He's using that eye properly. Ah, oh, shit. This guy is super fucking skilled. Let's go! Yo! Let's go! Burn him! Burn him! Oh, shit! God damn! Yo! That's a fight sequence right there! Mage versus Swordsman. I hope he's dead. Is he dead? <laughs> Senpai! Oh, look at the puppy Chulo. Oh, they came! Yeah, that's right, you fucking apologize! He was a hero. Why did she say it was awful with a smile? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Oh yeah, she, the gray rat, uh, her family really do appreciate beastmen people, so that makes sense. Yeah, that's why she's so happy. Oh no, dude! Oh man, who the fuck is this? He looks like a chicken nugget. No shot. No, no, not the ah, oh, dude, not the guy that looks like a chicken nugget. Dude, he looks like that purple guy from McDonald's. Oh my god, no. Oh, what the fuck? That's bullshit. That's actually very upsetting. I actually like the guy. Fuck. It's, it's, it's hard to talk right now because I'm actually very upset with the death of my guy, dude. Besides that, dude, this this episode was definitely a train of emotion. Uh, no, not a train, sorry. This episode was a roller coaster of emotions. Feeling bad for Rudius, even though he, you know, horny piece of shit that he is, that, you know, he was uh, unfairly being treated by the beast people because they thought he did something that he didn't do. And as much as he tried to explain it, they would not listen to him. It, it says that was frustrating in its own way, but it was very very relieving and it felt good to see Rudius play the hero role in defeating the smugglers and defeating that guy that helped them uh, cross the river uh, helped them cross the ocean or whatever and uh, also him defeating the North Saint which is really really good I feel like that kind of brings up his reputation as a mage um, it, it was cool to also see mage versus swordsman obviously I feel like in a way mages have kind of the upper hand to attack from a distance but swordsmen as long as they keep dodging they're quick to their feet and they can attack and then uh, also Rudius recruiting a follower forgot his name though geese i think geese was his name or something but i love how he just kept calling him senpai that shit was head out of 10 fun watch and it kind of makes sense why eris and Rudyard took a long time they had a bunch of side quests that they had to take care of but i'm sure they believed in Rudius because Rudius did hold his own Rudius had some funny moments of him being in jail he did hold his own and i'm pretty sure they're like Rudius will probably be fine if we just leave him for a little bit while we handle the situation i feel like definitely them trying to save the beast people especially the children and defeat the smugglers is more of a priority because that's more timely versus saving uh rudius who can like i said he can handle himself he could have escaped any time that he wanted to but he just didn't want to get lost it's good that he has it's good that rudius has a sense of justice to be able to help the beast people uh, when he first saw what's happening didn't know how i felt about rudius when he was just watching that girl get dragged away as she's yelling for help i know he was just probably trying to think of a plan and luckily the the sacred animal or whatever the sacred puppy chulo went ahead and attacked immediately and that gave him the opportunity to go for an attack but it was very frustrating to see rudius kind of just be still and not know what to do in a sense playing it smart he has to be a mage he has to be level-headed when doing these things he can't let emotions overtake him in a way i learned that from uh i don't know if you guys are watching dragon quest but uh dragon quest uh adventures of die uh one thing even though pop is somewhat of a 
failure of a character from time to time and lets his emotions get the best of him. They said the important part of the mage is to be the level-headed one in the group and to make level-headed decisions from time to time. But Rudius, you know, him saving the beast people, it felt good for the people who were treating him badly to apologize and for the chieftain to say thank you. They should still punish those people that would not listen to him. That, that chick kept throwing water at his face. Dirty water on top of that, it looked like. But I mean, at the same time, it seemed like Rudius was enjoying the booba view, so who am I to say anything? But anyways, guys, that is my reaction review of Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 14. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that helped me a lot. Subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you guys yeah, in the next one. Yeah. This is the end. Check it for sub because I really need to get that dough. You won't subscribe. What the hell, bruh? Stop acting like a goddamn hoe. 50k subs. Call me Yami so I can go beyond my own limits. 65% are not subbed then please because I know y'all are fucking with it. Sheesh. Sheesh. Please sub and thanks. <laughs> Stupid.